What's going on YouTube? GeoSnow8 here. So in today's video, we're going to discuss about the current situation of the iOS 10.3.x and 10.2.x jailbreak as for the last week of October. And as I said, we're going to discuss about the iOS 10.3.1, 10.3.2 and 10.3.3 jailbreak situation. We're going to discuss about Adam Donenfield's presentation that will be held at Black Hat. And we're going to discuss about iOS 11.1 beta 4 as well and the Saigon jailbreak. So let's get straight into that. Now, uh, for those of you who are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe and activate notifications so that you can stay up to date when new jailbreaks come out. So uh, I'm going to start with the fact that the Saigon jailbreak has received yesterday the beta 2 R1. I talked about this in a separate video, so if you want to watch it, it's in the description down below. But it's important since it added the iPod Touch 6th generation support. So if you missed that video, go ahead and watch it right now. It's in the cards up here or in the description down below. Now the Saigon jailbreak does not support the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, does not support the iPhone 5S for the moment. And the reason it's not supported the iPhone 5S is due to the fact that the iPhone 5S uses an older driver, which isn't compatible currently with the exploits used in here. I do not know if it's going to be supported, but if it's going to be supported in the future, I will make a video to inform you about the um, the fact that it's supported in the jailbreak so do not worry about that if you're interested though in the source code of the Saigon jailbreak unfortunately it hasn't been updated in over 18 days or 14 days for some of the um, of the files so do not hope to you know get the source code and, and take a look on it because it doesn't seem to be updated uh, in real time as the website is so yeah I expect that Abraham Masway did a developer of Saigon will probably pull a new version of the source code when the jailbreak will be more stable. Now let's talk a little bit about the iOS 10.3.3 jailbreak. You probably know there is no jailbreak currently for iOS 10.3.3 and it's less likely there will be a jailbreak anytime soon and that's due to the fact that we only have one exploit that actually works on iOS 10.3.3 currently and that is the Wi-Fi exploit published by Google Project Zero. It's definitely not enough for you know a jailbreak or two to put something together like Abraham Masquerade did with the exploits in here because you, know, you probably remember Saigon is made out of three exploits that is triple fetch, ziva and extra recipe. So unfortunately for iOS 10.3.3 and even iOS 10.3.2 to some extent there aren't enough exploits to build that thing. Now iOS 10.3.1 users might be a little bit luckier. As you can see here, the iPhone 6s on iOS 10.3.1 might soon be supported in the Saigon jailbreak. It says not yet in here, but it's considered and it's added on the supported devices as upcoming. So if you're running iOS 10.3.1, there might be chances. So do not update to iOS 11. Uh, speaking about the iOS 11, Apple has seeded a couple days ago the iOS 11.1 beta 4. Now this might be the last beta of the iOS 11.1, I do not know. But if you want to install it, you have to have a developer account or the development profile. You can see it's been issued on October 20, 2017. The iOS 11 beta 4 is actually pretty stable. And um, I have tried this on uh, one of my devices. Maybe I will make a review or a comparison video later on if you want. And um, the battery life is definitely better than the iOS 11.0.3. So if you're looking for iOS 11 and you want to install something that at least has a little bit more battery and some new emojis, go ahead and install iOS 11.1 beta 4. Of course, needless to say that you should not install iOS 11.x if you want to jailbreak because there are virtually no exploits available in the public right now. The build number of the iOS 11.1 beta 4 is 15B92. Now, speaking about it, you can see here Apple has also posted for the developers a release notes uh, PDF, which contains whatever is present in this update. And you can see they uh, focused on, you know, fixing a lot of bugs, especially in the AR kit on audio, on uh, audio video foundation and so on. So there are a lot of bug fixes in, um, in this particular beta, which is quite great. 
We can see one in a WebKit as well and in Xcode. Now, speaking again about the iOS 10.3.3 jailbreak, there is this website in here which says download Pangu. And due to the fact that it's called download Pangu, which is a very SEO friendly uh, name and Google picks it up quite easily, a lot of people are coming across this website and they ask me about this jailbreak, whether it's real or not. Now, the website is completely deceptive. Uh, they somehow mix, you know, good information with bad information. They also provide links to real jailbreaks that are released, but if a jailbreak is not released or it's not existing, they will make it up. So, um, of course, a fake one. So you can see here this tutorial says Pangu Tutorials iOS 10.3.3 jailbreak, and uh, they tell you to go in here to download Pangu.org and you know tap in here and add that uh, to the home screen. You probably know already that this is fake, but just in case you are on that small percent that you know are new to the jailbreaking community, just by adding something to your home screen, you cannot jailbreak your device. They also provide a video, but it's again completely bullcrap. Now, the second method they provide in here is Yalu Jailbreak by Luca Tedesco, and they're claiming this jailbreak is actually working on iOS 10.3.3. You can even see an iPhone in here showing iOS 10.3.3 in CD app. So they went ahead and even faked a uh, screenshot in order to prove it's real. They do provide a couple links in here uh, install CD iOS 10.3.3 and download Yalu Jailbreak, but unfortunately, it's not real. iOS 10.3.3 Yalu does not exist. The uh, last Yalu jailbreak that has been created was for iOS 10.2 and not for anything newer. For example, iOS 10.3.1, 10.2.1, 10.3.3 and so on. So there isn't such thing as Yalu jailbreak. If you're coming across this download Pango bullcrap in here, simply do not install anything they provide because most of the times they, they just create fake uh, fake guides in here which are not real. Now, going back to the presentation of Adam Donanfield, he is going to be presenting the Rotten Apples vulnerability heaven in the iOS sandbox at Black Hat Europe 2017, which is held between December 4, December 7, 2017 in London, United Kingdom. So that's very interesting. It's good to see that um, Adam Donanfield is still focused on iOS currently, especially after a wave of when 88 jailbreak questions that he received on his Twitter. So that's a very good thing to see in here. You probably remember Adam Donanfield. He is the author of the uh, currently publicly available Ziva Exploit, which is Imperium's iOS video and audio kernel exploit. And uh, this one is actually being used in the Saigon jailbreak. So to recap, what you should do is uh, if you're on iOS 10.3.1, stay there. There might be Saigon, which you know might support your device in the future, especially if it's an iPhone 6s according their page in here. If you're on iOS 10.2.1, but you have an iPhone 5S, or you have an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, there is unfortunately no support for you from Saigon for the moment. And it's hard to say whether this kind of support will be added. I would uh, tend to say no, at least not in the near future, but it's still not a good idea to update. It's still better to stay on the iOS 10.2.1. As for iOS 10.3.3, do not download from downloadpango.org. Uh, there is no such thing as Yalu 103 jailbreak. Uh, Luca never created a Yalu for iOS 10.3.3, so do not download that from here. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's the current situation of the iOS jailbreak for iOS 10.3.x and iOS 10.2.x for the last week of October. If anything important appears, I'm going to make a separate video and let you know. So go ahead and subscribe to stay updated. I'm Geosnow. Until the next time, peace out.